This video is brought to you by REP Gaming Products. Help protect your deck and support the show by picking up a steel deck box from the link down below. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Much Brew About Nothing. So last week, during our instant deck decks, it was the super crazy Erdragon reanimator list that came out on top. So this week, we are heading to Modern to see if we can reanimate and combo off with Cyan of the Erdragon, and this should be interesting. The deck is very all-in. It is super crazy. I, hopefully we win some games with it. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, like usual, gonna do a super quick two-minute deck tech just to remind you how Erdragon Reanimator works. If you wanna see the entire breakdown, make sure to follow the link in the description to the instant deck tech where we talk at length about the deck. Anyway, a quick reminder before we break down Erdragon Reanimator for modern. If you enjoy this deck and you enjoy Much of Brew in general, it would be so sweet of you if you could take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk Erdragon Reanimator. So the main idea of this deck is to reanimate Sign of the Erdragon. So we start by a bunch of ways to get Sign of the Erdragon in our graveyard. Faithless Looting, Cathartic Reunion lets us draw and discard, discard and draw. Basically, just ways to turn through our deck, find our dragons, get our dragons in the graveyard. For reanimation, Gorio's Vengeance is the big one. It's our best one. Ideally, if we can get like to six mana, Gorio's Vengeance and Erdragon, we just win the game. Footsteps of the Gorio on Burial Rites give us some redundancy, some backup reanimation spells. Pentad Prism helps us get to that six mana point. That's kind of the sweet spot in this deck. Also, so it just lets us ramp into our endless dragons. So it's kind of nice to have a chance to hard cast our dragons if we can't find reanimation or if people have graveyard hate. As far as dragons we're reanimating, the big one is Sign of the Ur Dragon. This is a card that our decks build around. Usually we're trying to reanimate it, but with the help of Pentad Prism, we can't just hard cast it and go that direction as well. So the main combo of this deck, and just to be clear, it does work. I think I can explain it a little bit confusingly in the instant deck deck, but the idea is if you can reanimate a Cyan of the Erdragon and have at least four mana left up. You activate Cyan of the Erdragon two times, so you're going to have two Search for a Dragon change into this Dragon triggers on the stack. The first trigger resolves, you get Molten Steel Dragon. You pump, 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 Cyan of the Erdragon up to ten power, paying a bunch of life to Molten Steel Dragon's ability. Then, you either get Scytherix, a Blight Dragon, or you can get a Tarka World Render, depending on the situation. Usually, Scytherix is a better option because it avoids life gain. So that gives us a ten power power flying hasty because of how Gorio's Vengeance works. Scytherix copy Scion of the Erdragon. So we just hit our opponent, one shot, kill them. Double Strike also works with the Tarka World Render if our opponent hasn't gained any life or if there's some reason, like our opponent has Lingering Souls tokens or something, we can trample over them with the Tarka copy. Otherwise, Nicole Bolas is one of the sweetest cards in our deck. Our backup plan is actually just discard Nicole Bolas on turn one or turn two and then Gorio's Vengeance it back, hit our opponent, make them lose their entire your hand to the discard effect. Sure, we lose Nicole Bola, still worth it in the long run. Otherwise, we got a bunch of removal dragons. Dragon Lord Ojitai, one of our most castable dragons we can just anticipate through our deck. Karthus, not sure why it's here, but it's a dragon. Otherwise, mana base, Haven, Cavern help fix our mana. A bunch of fetch lands and shock lands and dual lands. Sideboard, we get more dragons. Dramoka for counters. Icefall region to tap down big threats like uh, Death Shadow. Glory Bringer for removal. Then we have a bunch of dragon removal, also a braid, a bunch of sweepers, and that is is Erdragon Reanimator for Modern, and that's our Mojo Brew deck for this week. So, this should be interesting. Uh, the combo is sweet. We'll see how consistently we can pull it off. Anyway, let's get to the gameplay so you can see how it works. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll be back in a bit with a wrap up. <laughs> All right, Mojo Brew about nothing time. Playing some <laughs> against the odds. Erdragon Reanimator, and oh, I think we got a mulligan this. We got the Erdragon, but way too many. We got reanimation, but no discard. Yeah, we gotta ship it. Okay, we got a Faithless Looting. There's an Atarka. What is our plan? And let's put it on top. We are on the draw, so that's a good card to loot away and have in the graveyard. Although, if our opponent's playing combo, it's a lot worse. Yeah. Hmm. Well, if this is Storm, I think we're all in on Mind Twisting with Nicole Bolas. I think that's our only somewhat realistic way of winning. Get a Blood Crypt, untapped, Faithless Looting. Discard Nicole Bolas, discard Atarka. Well, 
I mean, if we just draw Gorio's Vengeance next turn, we could win. Unfortunately, without another actual land, we can't Prism for two if we don't draw it. Serum Vigilance. Oh, come on. One time. One time deck. Give us a Gorio's Vengeance. If we Gorio's Vengeance, we steal his win so hard. Island. It is Storm. Come on. Four out of 50. Cathartic Reunion. We'll play Cavern on Dragon. Cathartic Reunion. Discard Dragon Dragon. Oh, there it is. Ugh. All right. Well, let's see if it's too slow or if our opponent has a remand. We got Mind Twist for opponent ops. Oh, this is the moment of truth. If our opponent doesn't kill us and can't remand us, we get to Mind Twist them and probably win the game. Island. Or maybe this has got to be Storm, right? Opponent passes. We'll play Urborg. Gorio's Vengeance. Nicole Bolas. Freeze Elves. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. Come on. Oh my god, they have something. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding. The one of Substanti. <laughs> oh no. Oh, the odds are so incredibly slim. Oh, they're so slim. And now we die. There's Brawl. Oh my god. Opponent passes. I'll play a mountain. Gorio's Vengeance, Scion of the Ur Dragon. This is getting a little bit ridiculous. Just just a touch on the ridiculous scale. Unreal. Well, now we Gorio's Vengeance Atarka. Kill Brawl. But our opponent still has a handful of cards. Get in with Atarka. Oh. Oh. Man, I can't believe that this this didn't work. It was so close to being exactly what we wanted. Opponent, Brawl number million, Goblin Electromancer, and it's game. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, oh my goodness. All right. Yeah, that does it. Well, we, that was, that was brutal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I guess we, we run it back. Our only realistic shot of winning is comboing. Man, Ugh. that unsubstantiate was, that was brutal. Unsubstantiate, Ugh. it's either, if it's played, it's a one of. So the chances that our opponent had the one unsubstantiate are not super high. And we would have just beat Storm if they didn't have it in hand. And it's not even played in all Storm decks. Uh, a reasonable amount don't play it, but all right, well, we get to play first. Let's have the nut draw. All right. Uh, well, I mean, we got, we got looting effects. That's something. Black Leaf Cliffs, Faithless Looting, Discard Atarka, Discard Ojutai, Pass the Dirt, Spire Bluff for our opponent, and Cantrips, Serum Visions. Oh, we needed that first one. Yep. I'll play Bloodstain Mire, Crack Bloodstain Mire, Grab a Steam Vents, Untapped. Cathartic Reunion, discard Skitherix, discard Urborg, pass the turn. Spire Bluff for our opponent, Sleight of Hand. Well, we have to Faithless Looting into not Bloodstained Mire. Well, that's Faithless Looting. Discard and discard. Cast Faithless Looting, discard and discard. Play Bloodstained Mire, pass the turn. Well, we can go for it next turn, but it's uh, we're to the same position where opponent can leave up something. This is where they, they can either play Brawl and win, or they can play Brawl and leave up Remand or Unsubstantiate. Ooh, all right. Just kidding. Come on, no Surgicals. Well, now if our opponent doesn't have Surgical, we're suddenly in really good shape. Well, Crack Bloodstain Mire. Get a Swamp. Untap. Uh, opponent discards. Oh, man, if they have Surgical... That would be the Brutalist. Play Overgrown Tomb, untapped. Gorio's Vengeance, get Scion. Attack with Scion. Tutor, get Nicole Bolas. See you later, Storm Player Hand. Game? Do we get ya? Opponent discards everything. And, uh, yeah, pass the turn. Oh, they do have a Past in Flames, but they need a lot of mana to make it work. Opponent passes. Scalding Tarn. Black, blue, green. Huh. 
Black, green, blue, red. All right, Scalding Tarn. I think we can get a white source and just hard cast a Scion. Scalding Tarn, Sacred Foundry. White, green, blue, black, and red. Play Scion. And our opponent better do something here because we have the Scion kill next turn. We can combo kill. Opponent passing. Atarka. So play a Mountain. Attack with Scion. Tutor for Molten Steel Dragon. Do some pumping. It's a combo. So six power, seven power, eight power. And then we just, oh my God. Oh my God, we messed it up. Oh my God. Well, we're not gonna live that down. An opponent drew a gift. Oh my Lord almighty. Uh, we had the win. We had the win and I, I messed it up. Messed it up ridiculous yeah that was pretty bad well mill the rituals manamorphose pieces of the puzzle huh okay how does our opponent plan on not losing uh all right man so we messed that up severely but we're still gonna win opponent passes yep well we just we just do this and win. Grab a... It doesn't even matter. Let's go Ojitai for Hexproof. Get in with Ojitai. Oh my god! Well, there was a bit of punning, but we still got the win. It is possible. It is possible. Run it back. Um, all right. We got the Nicobo loss. So we're looking at Cathartic Reunion on two. Hopefully into Reanimate Nicobo loss on three. And hope our opponent can't stop it. So certain visions for our opponent. Well, stomping grounds, go. Shivan Reef. Opponent passes. I'll play a Swamp. Cathartic Reunion. Discard, discard. Opponent ops. Oh, there's, there's Gorio's Vengeance. Well, we're back to the moment of truth. Can our opponent stop it? Opponent ops. We have a chance to live the dream. Opponent passing. So play Polluted Delta. We got to go for it. Gorio's Vengeance to Kobolas. Come on. Nothing. 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 Aw. Oh. All right, opponent has remand. All right, pass the turn, pass the turn. Ugh. Opponent passing, crack polluted delta, grab a overgrown tomb. Let's Gorio's Vengeance, Nicobolas. Play a land, come on, no unsubstantiate, no unsubstantiate. Echoing truth, wow. Play prism. Oh. <laughs> oh. Goodness gracious, Electromancer. Come on, Faithless Looting or Cathartic Reunion. Cavern. But let's start with uh, Gorio's Vengeance, Atarka. Kill Electromancer. Play Cavern on Dragon. Play Ojitai. Hit our opponent down to eight. Pass the turn. There goes. Ugh, we were so close. Serum Visions. And Sleight of Hand. Oh, we can't quite win this turn. And our opponent could definitely win next turn. I guess our hope is, again, Faithless Looting into Reanimation. Opponent Ops. Yep. Opponent passes. Faithless Looting. Scion. Well, get in with Ojitai. Put our opponent to two. I mean, I guess we'll take Vengeance. Play Scion. And see if our opponent can kill us. Come on. Come on. No, no story. Oh, they drew another land. All right. Well, can they kill us? We're f 6 We can't do anything about it. There's a ritual. Yeah, all right, opponent. If you can kill us, you can kill us, and I will be very sad. Ritual. R ritual. Gifts ungiven, and it looks like our opponent has it. Wow. Oh, man. Well, maybe not. They only have three mana. Maybe we're still good? There's two cards in hand. There's three mana. We can mill the rituals, and our opponent should have a hard time past in flames thing. We might, we might be getting there. Man, we were so close to having the absolute nuts. And we punted into game two, but we still won. Are we going to take down Storm? All right, mill the two rituals. See what happens. Manamorphose. Opponent's going to have to run good to get it from here. They already played their land, so they're at three mana. I don't know if they can do it. Even if they have ritual ritual, I don't know if that'll do it. Pose comes it up. Or Dragon Reanimator, despite a little bit of sloppiness that I know I'm going to get yelled at in game two. Taking down Storm. We did it. We did it. It's working. It worked. Whoo. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Oh, my goodness. 
<laughs> we didn't even quite get the nods. We did get the bye to us one time, but wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, much brew about nothing time. Oh, uh, this hand. Playing some Erdragon Reanimator. Oh, uh, this, this hand is so close. We have a dragon. We have multiple looting effects. We got Gorio's Vengeance. Our main problem is mana. We're going to keep this. We're going to keep this purely because any colored source, either we just draw red mana and life is great, or any colored source, it leads us a prism. Scytherix is not exactly what we're hoping for. And now we might have counter issues. Although Cavern helps if we somehow do the natural dragon plan. Oh, I really don't want to play this prophetic prism with one counter. Oh no. Amulet Titan. And they have the amulet. And oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Dragons do not like this. Ancient stirrings. This might be rough. This might be rough. Ugh, when they have the amulet, it's so scary. Finds engineered explosives. Well, that's the least scary card they could find opponent passes all right well this is not great but we have to play a prism with only one counter ugh faithless looting discard nicole bolas and slumgar all right well game on our opponent if they can't stop us or win the game this turn we do get to mind twist them next turn with nicole bolas Ugh. fingers crossed if this ends with us not being dead or too far behind on board and our opponent being tapped out, Scout, you gotta be kidding. You gotta be kidding! <laughs> ah, sure. Uh, yeah. All right. That is a main deck Bajukabog in our opponent's hand to win the game. And now I'm not even sure I want to continue to show our opponent our deck. That is, oh man. Well, that's the ultimate blowout. Holy, 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 holy. What are the chances? I don't think there's any, this has to be the only deck in modern that has Bajukabog. Seriously. I'm actually looking it up as we speak. Yeah, I guess a few Knight of the Reliquary decks played as a one of. One Bajukabog. One, one Bajukabog. <laughs> Uh, one bajukabog, and now we're dead. We had him, too. Man, we are just living living the blowout life. Anything that could possibly go wrong does go wrong for us. Against Storm, the one of unsubstantiate. Against Abulet Titan, we have the combo, and our opponent has literally the one bajukabog. The odds of this are so slim. So incredibly slim. Oh, my. All right. There's the Titan, and we're just going to scoop it up. There's not really any point in sitting through this. Well, we had the game, but our opponent had their one of... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Is there even any reason to try to fight their stuff? Like, I just... I don't think it, it matters. Like, we can't... I don't think we win by trying to fight their creatures. I think we win by comboing off plus we have dragons to kill their creatures dramoka glory bringer i guess we could bring in a couple like i don't really like karthus go down karthus maybe go down one scytherix for a couple of draconic roars let's just try it like that oh wow 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 <laughs> uh, all right we get to play first only one land, so we got a mulligan. Oh dear, this hand's not gonna get it done. Well, I guess maybe it does. Put Cavern to the bottom. So we have turn two Prism, turn three Scion, turn four Wrath your board, or Mind Twist your hand. Whether or not that'll actually work against our opponent's deck, there's the Kura Tribe Scout. Well, crack this, grab a Sacred Faust, Steam Vents? Yeah, let's take Steam Vents. Opponent passes. Is it worth taking a turn off to kill this? Probably. Kill Sakura Tribe Scout. This does mean our Scion's going to be a turn later. But really bad things can happen if our opponent starts playing extra lands. Relic of Progenitus. Forest. Exiles, a guard from our graveyard. Oh, play Prism. Play Bloodstained Mire. Pass the turn. What do you got, opponent? All right. Exiles Draconic Roar, sure. And Gemstone Mine. Ugh, that's really bad. 
All right. Opponent drawn their sideboard cards. Grab an overgrown to my guess. Play Bloodstained Mire. Pass the turn. Uh, we're just going way slow here, unfortunately. Opponent keeps Exile and Graveyard cards. Yep. There's a Bounce Land. Opponent passes. Well, crack this. Grab a Sacred Foundry. Tapped. Play Haven. Blue, black, green, white, red. Play Scion, and we'll see. If our opponent can't kill us or deal with it, it does let us win next turn. Or attempt to. Pass the turn. Opponent's technically a mana off of casting Titan, unless they have something, like a Amulet of Vigor, I guess. What do you got, opponent? Okay. Tutoring for Pact of Negation. Plays a Forest. Sakura Tribe Scout. Do they have a way to kill our Scion? Exile's a card. I mean, if they can't kill our Scion, opponent passes. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. I don't think we go combo kill. I think we just activate Scion. Get Nicole loss. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. Mind twist their hand. Ooh, they had the Titan too. Cast Prism. The Chronic Roar the Scout. And pass the turn. I don't know if our opponent can win from here. Even if they draw land titan which is their absolute best draw i guess apart from just killing scion i don't think they can win uh, you never want to count this deck out because you never know all right gruel turf sure picks up a land opponent passes i'll play haven attack with scion tutor for i guess we just go nicobo loss again and that's game got there we got there we got there coming through <sighs> all right i mean it's possible that we win we got to win on the draw now that was not the nuts but our opponent had graveyard hate and we just won naturally by casting Zion of the Erdragon. dragon <laughs> oh lord lordy 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 all right uh, this hand's interesting it's interesting it's inter all right we're gonna keep this so what we have here is draconic roar to kill our opponent's first creature and then prism hopefully into scion blood crypt go that's the plan anyway we'll see if it works radiant fountain explores and bounce land all right opponents developing their mana and pass it we'll play black cleave cliffs play prism pass the turn actually we need a land to cast scion don't we red red yeah we don't have quite the right mana our best draw actually would probably just be a looting effect now that we hit this gorio's vengeance azusa slayer stronghold explore bounce land radiant fountain well i guess we're mostly hoping our opponent doesn't have titan opponent passes Ugh, another gorio's vengeance I'll play Urborg. If they got Titan, we're just dead. Draconic Roar. Kill Azusa. And we'll see. We'll see if they got the Titan. Come on, no Titans. No Titans. It's a Titan. Okay. Hmm. So now our hope is that we... Ugh. I don't know if we have hope. Yeah, I think we're probably dead. Ugh. Yeah, mana not working out. I still think that this hand was probably fine to keep. It's not going to work out and lead to us winning, but I probably would have kept it again. Forest, opponent passes. I think our only chance is maybe a Faithless looting. It's a, oh man, Swamp. All right, well, play a Swamp. Yeah, mana, really bad. And we're going to just scoop it up. Oh, deck, deck, deck. Yeah, we needed about four more turns, which that doesn't happen when a Titan's out interesting 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 all right much of brew time playing some ur dragon reanimator and we are mulliganing all right zero land nut draw going down to five well we'll keep it we get to we get to scry not that it matters it's getting shuffled away well put it to the bottom polluted delta crack it i don't know about this one we're gonna need some really good running get a blood crypt faithless looting discard a tarka and balefire dragon pass the turn 
Well, we're ending turn one with three cards in hand and one land. Doesn't seem like a recipe for success. Black Cleave Cliffs for our opponent. And Faithless Looting. Oh boy. They might be playing the better reanimation deck. Alright, we'll pass the turn. Yeah, that's a Grizzlebrand and a Borborgamos in the graveyard. Opponent passes. Well, there's a Swamp. Cathartic Reunion. Do some discarding. Hell, we got lots of Scions. Scions for days and days. Pass the turn. Opponent. All right. Gorio's Vengeance, Grizzlebrand, and we scoop it up. Well, that was quick and easy. Uh, unfortunately, we have zero ways of interacting with what our opponent's doing. So, we will just run it back. Killing our opponent's creatures doesn't actually work, and we don't have Graveyard Hate. Like, Icefall Regent, tapping down Grizzlebrand, you still just die. It doesn't actually... doesn't actually, uh change how the game works all right we're on the play well i guess we'll keep it if our opponent's hand isn't fast we got a shot we have turn two prism turn three scion turn four assuming we have another land we win so opponent plays a scry land and passes we'll play black cleave cliffs play prism pass the turn mountain there's faithless looting uh-oh well we might just be dead all right two lands that's not the scariest discards I'll play Urborg, blue, red, black, green, white. Play Scion. Pass the turn. Hopefully we draw a a land. Swamp for our opponent. And also hopefully Scion lives. Opponent's got a lightning axe. Ugh. Okay. And passes. I'll play Prism. Play Prism. We can win next turn, in theory. Assuming we can reanimate this Scion. Mountain for our opponent. Come on. No deaths. No deaths. Opponent passes. Also no surgicals. That would get us. So Gorio's Vengeance Scion. Come on. No. All right. Resolves. Do we just go combo kill? I mean, we got it, right? We could mind twist. We, we, we're going to try it. We're going to try it. So go to combat. Attack. Activate Scion. Maintain priority. Activate Scion. First trigger resolves. We get Molten Steel Dragon. Pump. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pump, 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 pump. Trigger resolves. What's the safest bet? I guess it's the same. Let's go with Skitherix. Ten power Skitherix? Cabo Gel? Cabo Gel? Did we get there? We don't have regeneration mana. Did we do it? We did it! Yes! Yes, yes! That's the kill we were looking for. I guess that's the other upside of Skitherix is it plays around Nourishing Shoal. Wow. We got there. We got there. That was that was pretty excellent. That was pretty excellent. Well, I mean, I guess we do that again and hope that it actually works. Oh, man. That was sweet that we got the kill through Nourishing Shoal because of Infect. Uh... All right. Got a mulligan. Can't cast Faithless Looting. All right. Well... Let's see a, uh, a Gorio's Vengeance. And also have our opponent's hand not be too nutty. Faithless Looting. Grizzlebrand discarded. Well, our opponent could have the turn two kill. Black Cleave Cliffs. Faithless Looting. Well, this is it. This is it. Does our opponent have the turn two kill? We have turn two Mind Twist. If we're alive. Bloodstained Mire. Uh-oh. Please tell us it's just a... A random oh no now we have to draw basic swamp Wow all right I was not expecting blood moon so I guess it's technically a misplay faithless looting so I guess what we should have done is hmm played the mountain and search up a basic swamp I haven't played against Grishroll brand in a long time. Not a swamp. Well, play cavern. Faithless looting. Oh. Discard. Discard. Oh, man. Well, sometimes turn two blood moon gets you. Did our opponent find it? They did. All right. Well, that's the game. Oh. Oh, dear. Huh. It's hard to predict that. But maybe I should have. Me of all people probably should have just played around Blood Moon no matter what. It's really hard to not just play Black Leaf Glyphs there. 
Actually, what am I even talking about? We didn't even have the option to not do that. Never mind. We did the only thing we could have. I don't know why I was thinking we could have had an untapped black source, but we didn't even have any fetch lands, so... So, it really doesn't matter. And, yeah, that's lethal. Alright, alright, alright. Well, we got to do our thing once, and then we got Blood Moon, and there was nothing we could do about it. If our opponent did not have Simeon Spirit Guy Blood Moon, we had it, but... Eh. Eh, Ur Dragon Reanimator. <laughs> 20% of the time, it works every time. All right, much brew time. Playing some... <laughs> Ur Dragon Reanimator. Keeping on the strength of Faithless Looting. Birds of Paradise for our Aban opponent. Abana. Play him out and and let's Faithless Looting. Discard Karthus and Atarka. Well, two lands aren't bad. We'll see how this goes. We really, I think what we want is probably a reanimation spell for a Tarka. If this is a creature deck, that's probably our best plan. Very scared of Scavenging Ooze, which is a random card that these creature decks sometimes have. So next turn we can Prism. Then the following turn we can choose between Scion of the Ur-Dragon or Faithless Looting. Alright, opponent's got Mana Dorks. For days gets in with birds we could just draw reanimation for a tarka and it would be insane Corey's vengeance nicole bolas i'll play black leaf glyphs run out prism pass the turn opponent gets in with the birds yep down to 16 yep opponent looks like they have collected company We'll play Cavern on Dragon. Blue, red, black. Ugh. White, green. I think we got to go for it. Scion of the Ur-Dragon. Pass the turn. So if we get to untap with Ur-Dragon, odds of winning are pretty high. All right, here's company. Come on. No whammies. Oh, no. Devoted Druid Ooze. All right, if they have Vizier, we're probably dead. And looks like they have it. All right, so they get to Cord for Vizier. Man, yep. And let's see if they got a payoff. All right, so we just F6. Once our opponent shows us a payoff, then we scoot. Collected Company, Eternal Witness, Walking Ballista. They have a million potential payoffs. Ah, <sighs> just a bit too slow, unfortunately. Opponent's going to town. Making mana. So, they either have Walking Ballista in hand, or they have nothing, and they're hoping that we <coughs> scoop if they do this long enough. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, it looks like they do have Walking Ballista. Yep. Alright, fair enough. Oh, we were close. I mean, we weren't close enough to win, but we were close. Bringing... Hmm. Kozilix return Pyroclasms. Ugh, I would like a Braids into Chronic Roars. Maybe even Glorybringer? Well, all right, go down Ojitai, go down to Scytherix. Go down Atarka, go down Karthus. Atarka's good. Let's go down Balefire. Maybe go one of Braid? Ugh, hard to make all this stuff fit. All right, maybe we just go one of Braid, Wonder Chronic Roar in the Sweepers. All right, let's try it like that. Man. Close calls, close calls. We get to play first. All right, this hand is the nuts. This is a, barring our opponent having, I don't even know, I guess Birds of Paradise is what we don't want to see, as weird as that sounds, or a surgical. We have turn one, discard Nicole Bolas, turn two, reanimate it, mind twist you. Birds would give our opponent a chump blocker. Now, Bloodstain Mire, crack it. Grab a Sacred Foundry, untapped, Faithless Looting, discard Nicole Bolas and Atarka, pass the turn. Hopefully it's just like turn one Noble High Arc, Temple Garden, untapped. It's a Birds. We'll play a Swamp, Cathartic Reunion, discard our Ur Dragons, pass the turn. Devoted Druid. All right, all right, here we go. Here we go. So let's get back Nicole Bolas. Hit our opponent, make them discard their hand. 
Opponents down to 11. Hand, be gone. Play Bloodstained Mire, crack Bloodstained Mire. Get a Steam Vents. Untapped. Faithless Looting. Discard Nicole Bolas and Scytherix. Pass the turn. That's what we're trying to do. That's what we're trying to do. That is it. Tapping. Uh, what did our opponent... What did they draw? All right, Walking Ballista. That's fine. I think we just pretty much end the game here. Can we pump enough times for... Hmm, we can't. All right, so let's just... Pyroclasm. Opponent pings us. And scoops it up. All right. That's the power of Erdragon Reanimator. When things go well, they go spectacularly well. Run it back. See if we can do that one more time. Hmm. I think we got a mulligan. We don't have any way to get dragons in our graveyard. All right. All right, all right. This gives us a shot. I think we got to keep Pyroclasm. Temple Garden tapped. We do need to hit a land here off Faithless Looting. So Pluto Delta, crack it. Get a Blood Crypt, untapped. Faithless Looting. There's our lands. Discard Scion of the Erdragon. And ugh, I guess Cathartic Reunion for now. Pass the turn. Razor Verge Thicket. And Scavenging Ooze. Yep. Opponent passes. We'll play Black Cleave Cliffs. Kill the Ooze. Pass the turn. So we're one mana away from reanimating and activating. Ugh, Eternal Witness gets back Ooze. That's not ideal. Ha. Huh. That is a problem. Well, play Polluted Delta. Crack Polluted Delta. Get a Steam Vents. Untapped. Faithless Looting. Ugh. Discard Pyroclasm and Slumgar. If our opponent leaves up mana for this ooze, it's going to be hard to win. Extra mana. There's the ooze. Yep, yep, yep. Ugh. I'll play Prism, play Bloodstained Mire, pass the turn. Yeah, I don't know if there's a way we can win now. Without our opponent misplaying. That's what we're hoping for. Opponents deep in the tank. Deep, deep, deep. So deep. Yep. Opponent untaps. Didn't eat anything. That's interesting. Township. Spellskite. Opponent goes attacking. Eats Slumgar. Okay. Alright, so we got a crack. Black, blue, red. Okay, get a Swamp. Gorio's Vengeance. This gives us an out. Our opponent has to activate here. Again. And that gives us an out of just drawing, like, another Faithless Looting. And maybe, I don't know, some crazy dragon to win that way. Hmm. Is it worth spending another Gorio's Vengeance? No, we can't. Because then we can't cast scion all right so faithless looting would be good otherwise we're casting scion and hoping down to five uh it doesn't work cavern cavern on dragon blue white green black red play scion the problem is we have to chump block so pass the turn oh or our opponent just has path all right well we're good one out of every three games we win <laughs> consistently all right much brew about nothing time playing some oh my god it's the nuts erdragon reanimator we got it faithless looting nicole bolas turn to gorio's vengeance wipe your hand on the play this is the dream this is the dream they're oh man oh man it's happening it's happening this is the exact draw we're hoping for so blood crypt untapped faithless looting no thought sees. No Inquisition. No thought sees, no Inquisition. No thought sees. No Inquisition. Alright, discard Nicole Bolas. Discard Mountain. Pass the turn. Oh man, come on. Come on. Come on, opponent. Alright, what do you got, opponent? Black Cleave. No. No. Uh... Dream dead. <laughs> already. Already dead. Takes Gorios. Uh, uh, on burial rights, that doesn't really do it. Polluted Delta, crack it. Grab a Steam Vents. Untapped. Play Prism. Pass the dirt. 
I guess we can hard cast an Ojutai. Oh, we were so close. Or opponent has thought sees. Well, I guess we can unburial rights in Ojutai. We could also just draw another Goryeo's Vengeance and win. That would be sweet. Blood Crypt. Untapped. Opponent. Passes. Well, play Cavern. On Dragon. Unburial rights. Ojutai. We can't really unburial rights. Nicole Bolas. Hopefully our opponent does not have Liliana. Oh, that would be the saddest story. Ah. Oh. Blood Crypt. Untap down to 12. Young Pyromancer. All right. And Faithful Suiting. So Mardu Pyromancer by the looks. Lingering Souls. Fatal Push discarded. Yup. Opponent passes. Balefire Dragon. Well, get in with Ojutai. Go digging. Well, take Dragon Lord Atarka. Flashback Faithless Looting. Ugh, tap Land. Discard Atarka and Balefire Dragon. Play the Tap Land past the turn. Well, I guess this is fine. Next turn, if we don't get Thought Seized, we can reanimate Atarka and just sweep the board. Or at least mostly sweep the board. All right, Faithless Looting. That's fine. I think we might be doing it. The Thought Seas ruined our dream draw, but I still think we're taking down this win because we prism to make white mana to flash back on burial rights and just destroy our opponent's board, and we still have Ojutai. Opponent gets in. Yep, down to 12. Oh, there's Nicole Bolas again. Well, get in with Ojutai, step one. Put our opponent to two. See what we may find. Um, I guess we take looting. Play Prism. Reanimate Dragon Lord Atarka. Ping, ping, ping. And opponent's gonna need something pretty special. <laughs> we have multiple Dragon Lords. So the nut draw did not come to fruition, but uh playing dragons. We drew our rituals in Pentad Prism and fixed our mana and we're able to kinda win. This feels like a super hard matchup, though. Blood Moon's good against us. Endless Thought Seizes are good against us, etc., etc. Lingering Souls does not stop Atark either. That's a that's an 8-8 Trample. Atark is a really powerful magic card. Opponent scoops it up. All right, all right, all right. So against this deck, I think we want our sweepers. Kozlik's Return Pyroclasm. Also somewhat interested in Glorybringer, mostly because... It's a dragon we can easily cast through Blood Moon. So maybe we go down like one Skittles, one Ojutai, Karthus. How do we make room for Glory Bringers? Atarka, go down Atarka World Render, and I think we go down Balefire. Because of Lingering Souls, we're probably going to be getting Slumgar if we're going for the Sweeper plan. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, this hand's fine if we don't get torn up by discard. Marsh Flats. Opponent passing. Well, Sacred Foundry go. Having our basic swamp isn't the worst. At least it means we'll be able to cast Pentad Prism with two colors through a Blood Moon. Black Cleave Cliffs for our opponent. And there's Pyromancer. Opponent passes. We'll play Black Cleave Cliffs. Huh. Let's just Cathartic Reunion discard the two dragons. All right, pass the turn. Opponent has Faithless Looting. Sure, makes a token. Well, now we're working towards reanimating the Satarka, I think is our primary game plan. Graveyard Hate would be bad. Thankfully, Unburial Rites gives us a reanimation spell that doesn't get discarded. Inquisition. We actually did want that prism. Maybe they take looting. All right, takes looting. Interesting. Sacred Foundry. Tapped. Our opponent gets in. Down to 18. Oh, play prism. Play Bloodstained Mire. Pass the turn. Plan A is reanimating Atarka to get rid of these tokens and Pyromancer. Opponent. Graveyard Hate would get us. Something like Surgical would be pretty brutal. Getting in. Yeah. Down to 14. Opponent. Coligan's Command, ugh. That's actually okay, because our opponent, they probably should not have chose Discard, because now we get to Discard on Burial Rites. Crack Bloodstain Mire. Grab a Steam Vents. Play, oh man, they could have, I guess they could have Surgical. 
Whew, no surgical, and that probably is game. Yeah, our opponent probably should not have made us discard. I don't know if that would have mattered, but it would have bought them another turn, potentially. And now they gotta figure out how to beat an 8 8 on an empty board. I guess Ensnaring Bridge is a way. How do we win through Ensnaring Bridge? Do we win through Ensnaring Bridge? So this means we're just gonna get lightning bolted to death eventually. I'll play Skitherix. Pass the turn. Man. Our opponent might have found the answer. I don't think we have a way of dealing with that. Opponent thought seizes. Huh. The fatal flaw in our plan. That is a way to deal with an 8-8 and a 4-4 and essentially every future dragon we play. Alright. Extracts Molten Steel Dragon. Only a one of. I think our opponent mostly just wants to look at our deck. We might be scooping, though, after we look at our deck. We might actually have zero ways of beating Ensnaring Bridge in our deck. So opponent passes. Urborg. Well, flashback looting. Oh, they didn't even take the Molten Steel Dragon. <laughs> okay. Discard Urborg and Blood Crypt. Play Scalding Tarn. Crack it. Let's look at our deck and see if there is any way out of this. Looks like the answer is no. Our smallest creature is Slumgar. All right. Uh, and Snaring Bridge got us. Yep. <clears throat> fair enough, fair enough. Well, well, well. Do we even have an answer? I guess we got to bring in a Braid, unfortunately. Because we got to have a way to kill. <sighs> so that means we got to go down a Glory Bringer. We got to have a way to kill Ensnaring Bridge. We can't not have a way to kill Ensnaring Bridge. Go down a Glory Bringer. Go down. Maybe footsteps? I don't like cutting reanimation, but cut a, cut the footsteps. That's probably our worst reanimation spell. All right, we're on the play. Uh, We can't keep that. No way to loot. All right, we'll keep this. Still no way to loot, but Molten Steel to the bottom. Bloodstained Mire, goo. Gonna need some Faithless Lootings and Cathartic Reunions here. Marsh Flats for our opponent. Unsnaring Bridge. Blood Crypt, untapped. And discard. Faithless looting. All right, not discard. Well, this means we get to play Prism, which is nice. Lingering Souls, Bedlam Reveler discarded. Crack Bloodstained Mire. Take Sacred Foundry, tapped. Play a Swamp. Oh, man, there's Vengeance, too. We have the full combo. We just can't... We need discard. If we draw discard, we get to just go to town. Like a looting effect, I mean. Opponent. More lootings. Oh, man. In theory, we're a Faithless Looting away from the Mind Twist win. Bloodstained Mire. All right. Or our opponent has Discard and we're not. Swamp. There's the Thoughtsies. All right. Well, there goes Gorio's Vengeance. Ah. I feel like we're always on the cusp of doing something insane with this deck. Takes Gorio's Vengeance. Surgically extracts Gorio's Vengeance. Okay. Well, reanimation's going to be challenging. Uh-huh. Opponent passes. I'll play Pollute to Delta. Pass the turn. Now, all we have left for reanimation is one... What is this? Blood Moon. Well, crack Pollute to Delta. I guess we take a Swamp. Opponent passes. Play Stomping Grounds. Pass the turn. There's Ensnaring Bridge. Not getting easier. I'll play Prism. Pass the turn. So we can cast something, but it doesn't do anything at the moment because of Ensnaring Bridge anyway. Opponent plays a land. Opponent is down to 10. And they have, like, semi-lock themselves. They only have one black source, no white sources. They have a million Faithless Looting, so. And we have a lot of one-shot colored mana. We got red and black. But then we're leaning hard on these prisms, which really need to not get blown up. And we're going to have to draw a braid eventually. All right, opponent flashes back Lingering Souls. And passes. Do we spend mana on this Atarka, or do we wait? Uh, I don't like spending this mana, but I think we have to. Play Atarka. Kill a spirit, kill a spirit. This means... If we just draw a braid, we're very close to winning. Looting. Opponent shouldn't have too many 
too many answers to Atarka. And it is a big blocker, worst case. And even without our uh, ability to really reanimate, at least we can use Faithless Lootings and Cathartic Reunions to dig for a braid to hopefully close out this game. And Atarka's a big blocker, worst case. Alright, opponent's got Reveler. Yeah. Inquisition. Gonna take our Pyroclasm. Okay. Opponent passes. That's a braid. A blow up and snaring bridge. Get in with Atarka. Oh man, are we doing it? Are we doing it? Down to two. Down to two. Do you have an answer? Do you have an answer to this Dragon Lord Atarka? Oh my god, they drew another bridge. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, goodness, goodness. Well, we have one more abrade. Come on, abrade off the top. Abrade off the top. Kozlex return. If they find another uh, another surgical for this abrade, then we are done. Young Pyromancer. Blows up a prism. All right, sure. Come on, abrade. Abrade for the win. All right, pass the turn. Bloodstained Mire. Oh my god, another Bedlam Reveler. Pona's just going to town. And I believe that does it. Wow, I can't believe how many bridges this deck is playing. Well, let's play Slumgar. Maybe, maybe there's a way we play through our entire deck. Pony is 11 cards less than us. Faithless Looting triggers the dorks. They can't really attack with the Bedlam Revelers. Man, they drew a lot of bridges. I'm a little surprised this deck is playing so many bridges. I guess the question is going to be, can our opponent kill us before they run out of cards? Because we can't kill them through two bridges. Unless they somehow make a mistake and get stuck with three cards in hand. We also can't cast anything at the moment, except for this Kozilex return. Yep. Opponent, trigger and prowess a bunch. Draws and discards. They shouldn't have 18 points of burn in their deck. Discard some lands. Okay, you got an instant. Did our opponent just punt this game away? Oh boy. Oh boy, opponent scoops it up. Well, ah, that was kind of a freebie. <laughs> I think our opponent did not play that particularly effectively. Well, sweet. We'll take it. We'll take it. It's a win for Ur-Dragon Reanimator. Even through all the ensnaring bridges. Sweet. So what do we learn this week about Ur-Dragon Reanimator? And overall, we went 2 and 3 in our video matches. Actually, 2 and 4 overall. So the deck can win like it is possible for the deck to beat other people and it's really really sweet when it happens so the combo itself is pretty good the downside is we saw we played against Grizzlebrand where our opponent was just like ah oh, reanimate Grizzlebrand and win we're going through a lot more steps need a lot more mana have a lot more dragons than a deck like Grizzlebrand uh, but it is way sweeter so as a unique way to combo off and win I think it's really cool although so, other than maybe hard casting Cyan of the Ur Dragon on turn three, which we actually did do a couple of times with Pentan Prism, it's hard to find a really good argument for why this is better. I guess that would be the main argument. Like, why would you play Ur Dragon Reanimator over something that's reanimating Grizzlebrand or other strategies? And I guess the answer is you do have a backup plan that doesn't care about the graveyard. Like, going turn two Pentad Prism, turn three Cyan of the Ur Dragon, untapping, attacking, double activating, even through a rest in peace is going to win the game so it is nice that we have a built-in backup plan the downside is our stuff doesn't do anything immediately so we had some times where we we're like oh we're going to get a turn two nicobo loss or we're going to win with a scion and then our opponent has path or they have a scavenging ooze or something so there are a lot of things that disrupt our plan when if you're reanimating something like Grizzlebrand, you are drawing those cards right away and you're just essentially winning immediately or if it's an emerald then you can't be targeted by instance so you're getting the Annihilation trigger. So I guess that's the downside. But the deck is really cool. And the combo was pretty effective. So I feel like maybe the biggest way to improve the deck would be to somehow make it a little bit less all in one of the things about the main deck is apart from our dragons itself we don't really have a ton of removal we're reliant on like finding an ur dragon to get a slumgar or get something like that a bane fire dragon to be able to deal with our opponent's creatures so maybe like walking the line a little bit between what we're doing here and a little bit more resilient 
hint of a strategy that has a little bit more of a way to interact and win without the dragon plan. So as far as the dragons, like, I don't know if we need all of the dragons we have in the deck. So I think Scion of the Dragon is win con one. We need one Molten Steel Dragon, probably one Scytherix, maybe the one Atarka World Render for the combo kill package, which means, in theory, we could cut a Scytherix. I still have no idea why Karthus is in the deck. I never could figure out a situation where we wanted the Karthus. And then the Nicole Bolas plan is the backup plan. And that's a really solid plan when it works out. Like, turn one, Faithless Looting, discard Nicole Bolas. Turn two, Gorio's Vengeance. Basically, if our opponent doesn't have Path to Exile, we just win the game. It is, that is a very effective way of winning the game because it mind twists our opponent hand. It's basically like the reverse version of Grizzlebrand. Instead of drawing seven, you make your opponent discard seven. And that is just as effective because the opponent's going to have one land. They're going to have no hand. It's going to be very difficult for any deck to reassemble from that point. And we did get some Nicole Bolas win so I feel like we could trim back on some of the dragons like probably don't need two Scytherixes probably don't really need Karthus maybe go down a little bit on Dragon Lord Atarka if we could get even just like four slots in our deck to play Thought Seize or Fatal Push or Lightning Bolt or some way of interacting with our opponent I think things would be a lot smoother because we're just basically trying to goldfish into the kill the other thing about this deck is we have some post sideboard issues. We technically have five colors of mana, and I feel like restricting our sideboard to what we have, a bunch of dragons, draconic roars, and so forth, probably not worth it when we have all five colors of mana. So graveyard hate, really problematic. We ran into some trouble with scavenging use, getting a little bit out of control. So I feel like we could play a more real sideboard in a less dragon influenced sideboard, and that might make our deck a little bit better as well. Like ancient grudge to deal with graveyard hate maybe a hard removal spell like fatal push since we have five colors of mana it's pretty easy to do to deal with the scavenging ooze which we found out to be a nightmare so i feel like the deck could use some tweaking would the end result be Erdragon reanimator breaking the format probably not but as we saw in our matches we won two matches with it and even in our matches that we lost we were consistently getting at least one win out of those games and we had some times where it felt like we were about to win like the turn two Nicole Bolas and just had it not work out for whatever reason. So the deck wasn't nearly as bad as I would imagine. Like, looking at this deck on paper, it looks like a deck that it's going to go 0-5 or something, and it was significantly better than that. Is it good? Probably not, but it is good enough when things go well that it does some incredibly powerful things, like turn 2 AC Nicole Bolas, or turn 4-ish, I guess, if you have a bunch of Pentad Prisms, kill with this Eye of the Erdragon combo. So I think the deck is sweet. I think it can be improved mostly by trying to get a little interaction in the main deck and also revamping the sideboard. I don't know when we're ever bringing in Icefall Regents or ever bringing in uh, some of the worst dragon spells. Like, their Chronic Roar is fine, but it's more cute than anything. Like, we don't need it just because we're a dragon deck. That could be something that was probably more efficient and going to kill anything, like a Fatal Push or whatever. So I feel like those are the two main improvements. But overall... Erdragon Reanimator, one of the most unique decks and more competitive than it looks. So I'll definitely give it that. You can win games with it. I don't know if you will consistently win matches with it because Graveyard Hate's a thing. We are kind of all in on the Dragon plan. We got a little, a lot of expensive stuff. We will have games where we just don't find a Faithless Zooting and our deck does nothing or don't find a Reanimation spell and our deck does nothing. We just have all these five, six, seven, eight drop dragons in our hand. So that would definitely be something to look at improving. So so it's a high risk strategy. It's a really sweet strategy. It can win games, but probably just not consistent enough to consistently like win match after match after match and win tournaments. So a really fun idea, competitive enough idea, probably not tournament winning idea. No matter what upgrades you make, you still got the reanimation downside and you still got the we got a million expensive dragon downside. So anyway, that's been our much brew for this week. Ur Dragon Reanimator for Modern. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.